Hey Gavox here, today I'm going to go through the best first baseman in MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty. Uh, they're going to be secondary positions, uh, first positions, whatever. Uh, that's what we're going to go through and see. Uh, basically I'm going to go 10 to 1 and then I'll do a little bit of the you know uh, borderline fringe guys. So let's go up first. Number 10, um, not even auctionable. You got to go through the collections here. Live series, AL Central. Killebrew is number 10 for me. Now, he's got a secondary at first base. Um, he is a slugger, very slow. Uh, not the greatest in the field either. Uh, but yeah, at high levels of competition against righties, he, do he even dominates there. Vision 84 will play uh, at Hall of Fame very nicely and is popped to, to pop it out of the field. So, Killebrew, number 10. There's a lot of great first basemen. If you're like, wow, he's number 10? Yes. Yes. A lot of guys that get secondary at first base that are good. All right. The next one is on the market. Number nine is going to be Adam Dunn's signature down here. I like him slightly better, um, a little faster. Fielding's about the same. Got arm strength though, so you can also, you know, you can put him in left field, right field too. If you if you have a little bit of substitution issues, if you do a little bit of shenanigans or double switches or stuff like that, but. Contact versus ready, contact versus lefty. Lefty is a little bit better. Vision's lesser, so I can see if you want Killebrew for the higher vision rather than the, like, the higher uh, power versus righties uh, that Dunn provides. I like the Dunn better with the left-handed swing, uh, but I, I could definitely see the uh, want for vision above the extra speed and left-handed swing. Um, so, But my order goes 10 Killebrew, 9 Dunn. Number 8 will be the great unauctionable... Now that I think about it, unauctionable um, second inning program. Wait, no, no, he is auctionable. What am I talking about? Miggy's auctionable. Sorry, Miguel Cabrera. So he is number eight for me. Uh, again, not fast. A little bit better fielding than the last two guys, but he's he's pretty well balanced. Uh, vision at 82, similar to Killebrew. Uh, a right-handed bat, just like Killebrew. Better contact than both those guys. Um, so that's why I think Miggy is number eight for me. Um, again, this is all just like personal preference. I haven't used this Miggy yet, so I also haven't used Killebrew yet. So that is up. I gotta, I gotta see him. But those are my three in the order. Of course, if you guys have any disagreements, let me know. I would love to hear them. Uh, number seven for me, because um, I've heard a few people not like, uh, have not liked Miggy's swing, uh, which, which is it's very personal, uh, depending on how you hit the. Signature Giambi. Oops. Giambi is next for me at number seven. Uh, high contact, great power is ready. Versus lefty, he's trash. But I, I like him. Uh, maybe you could you could argue he should be a little bit lower, but I like crushing righties. Maybe this is more of a bench bat for you uh, than anybody that you want to maybe start. That's kind of more balanced. Vision 74, uh, a little bit higher than a couple of them. I think that's I think that's a near Killebrews, if I recall correctly, and uh, Cabrera's. So a lot of these things are pretty mixed, right? Maybe maybe Giambi deserved to be down a couple spots, but a lot of these stats are looking a lot alike. But I, I do like that 121 power versus righty at a le with a lefty bat uh, because you will face a lot of righties, although you're seeing a lot more frequently Kershaw. So he is, he is terrible against Kershaw with the lack of power, but again, still decent because he's got good contact uh, with less, lesser uh, uh, vision against it. So, or power. Next up, another collection reward. This one from the live series. Let's go here. It is Jim Edmonds outfielder. So the center fielder can play first base. Better speed than a lot of them. Great fielding, uh, reaction, arm strength, arm accuracy, stuff like that. And there's something about this card through online ranked games hitting 455 for me. And he's like, and you're like, well, the stats aren't that good, but there's something about this Jim Edmund card that just does well for me. Even though his vision's terrible, um, his swing is super nice. It's super sweet. 109 power versus ready, but yeah. So he's got the worst vision of all of them, but I ranked the number six over the last four just due to how well he I know he produces for me. Even against lefties. I don't know what it is about Jimmy. But it just happens. It just happens. I mean, this isn't like a super small sample size. 288 at-bats. And one home run every, what, 11 at-bats? And a 455 batting average? If I could take a walk, <laughs> it'd be nice. So, yeah, I, I I don't get it. A lot of that's at Hall of Fame uh, difficulty. Some of it's at All-Star, don't get me wrong. Some of it is on the way up on the ladder, too. But Edmonds, man. Edmonds. Number five is auctionable. 
And number five is Mr. Eddie Murray. Now, I'm not doing as well with Eddie. Uh, 295, wow, really bad, actually. That's all at Hall of Fame level. Um, so I'm hitting... The thing is, I like his switch hittingness. I like his fielding. Reaction's a little bit lower. Speed's a, little bit, a lot lower than you like to see. Uh, but a switch hitted first baseman has a lot of value. Somebody that can hit both lefties and righties. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys used uh, Eddie? Has he struggled for you? Like, he struggled for me. Um, maybe he should be knocked down because his results don't really match his stats. 112 at-bats, 295. He's had some clutch hits for me, but yeah, that's 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 a rough one. OPS of 775. That is not a good hit. Uh, so I might need, I might I might just need to replace him overall in my lineup. Even though I love switch hitters because you you know want to be flexible against both, just not working. Even the high vision, high contact, weird, 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 weird. Uh, number four is fairly new to the game and unauctionable, unfortunately. Probably the worst decision. Well, one of the worst decisions I've made this year. Uh, monthly flashback. We got Bellinger. He's number four for me. Really good speed. Decent fielding there. 70 fielding's fine. It's about what everybody else is when they're out of position. Um, but he's got, you know, you have to have a secondary position being there. Contact versus left. Power versus left. Uh, and vision a little bit lower than you'd like to see there. At least the vision. But smashes right-handers in, in real life and in this game. Um, so a very great overall card there at Bellinger here. You really don't have many complaints about that at all. Um, except like you can't play him in the outfield and, he, and he's unauctionable, so you'll never get your stubs back, which is the worst. Number three is auctionable. I am going to go with, where are you? Are you higher than that? Yeah, you're higher than that. Michael Young, amazing for this meta right now because the meta is basically all contact vision uh, and then he's got good fielding. Speed is lesser than you'd like to see, but uh, everything else is right there as a first base and anything in the infield, he's got it, so... Great contact, vision, beautiful. Number two, I kind of like uh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Jr. at uh, number two for me. So he's got everything you want with power, contact, vision. And fielding's a little bit lower, speed's low. But first baseman, he might he get, uh, get chewed up by a ground ball every once in a while, but he'll catch the ball for you and uh, absolutely smash it there. He's got a right-handed swing, so if you like righties, he's your man. Otherwise, the other righty that should be your man through the XP reward path, um, you could take a look at. His picture is right there. I think number one is Frank Thomas. Um, yeah, feeling's bad. Speed's bad. But, man, he, he smacks the ball. Against lefties, he's a Kershaw killer. I, I'm, always afraid, I'm always afraid to throw it to Frank Thomas whenever I'm on the mound. He hasn't killed me. I haven't used him, but, man, seeing guys use him against me, I'm... I, I'm he smacked some balls where I was like, oh, that shouldn't have been a home run. But they get it. So Frankie's number one in my book. Let me know if you guys have any of your disagreements there. Otherwise, we can go through some of the, the maybes, the close twos. A lot of them are kind of out of position there. Uh, uh, maybe we'll just eh, – how do we want to filter it? We'll filter by other first baseman here. Not many other great auctionable first baseman. You got this Luke Gary here is a great uh, – a decent player with contact versus righty and, and vision. Solid stuff right there. Lower Frank Thomas, we talked about a Frankie. Lower Giambi. Pete Alonso was also put in the game. Low vision, but decent other stats uh, besides for speed. Bellinger's lower card. Vado. Vado might get downgraded. He's having a bad season. Goldschmidt's fine against lefties. Good against lefties. Fine overall. Um, I just hate having somebody with a hole against righties because that's what we see. Will Clark is a great budget first baseman. This is amazing with that contact and vision. Um, Morales. Canerco. Bogobot, Jimmy Fox. Hey, that's a cool name that he's got. Um, third base. Oh, I don't know. Sorry. Third baseman. You could put. I'm talking about. Uh, you could put Arenado there against lefty. This guy, like the, he was an event god. That lefty against righty event. Molitor, I believe you could. No, he can only put third second base. Um, Ramirez can't go there either. Yeah. Who else are we looking at? I mean, that's enough, right? There's there's Fred McGriff, Braves affinity, Edward Encarnacion, Encarnacion, Blue Jays affinity, and Jose Bautista in the AL East. I guess we can take a look at Jose Bautista. We'll, we'll talk about Jose Bautista with a couple other positions. So um, look for those videos. But that's it for the first baseman. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.